Good morning, everyone. Uh, today is Saturday. Hannah Grace is off today. Of course, it's Saturday. And her and I, we're heading up to Fun World in the mall. Uh, looks down at the store, and that's where we're heading. We're going to Fun World in the mall. Anything to say, Hannah Grace? Eats. Yay! Yay? That's it? Uh-uh. <laughs> oh my goodness, Hannah Grace. <laughs> Lights and noise and kids and games and this is world of fun. There you go. You want your coins in here? Wow. They come in here and they have a ticket booth, and I think I paid 2,000 pesos for 50 tokens. When you come up to the games, it'll say how many tokens is required to play. But Hannah Grace knows these games. She's been here many a time, and she knows what games she likes. Hannah Grace, I walked away for about five minutes to play, and Hannah Grace hit the jackpot. How many tickets? 400. 400 tickets. They are just coming out and coming out and coming out and coming out. That should be good for something, right? Let me take a little stroll and I'll show you around here. All these different games. There's where you cash in your prizes, or your tickets to get your prizes. Remember these on the boardwalk in uh, Wildwood, New Jersey. They used to be all over the place, except for it was real coins. I was playing this game earlier. I was actually playing right here, and your ticket's supposed to come out down there. But I knew I was winning, but I couldn't figure out where my tickets were. I was actually spitting them out on the opposite side over here. So I think somebody was playing, forgot to pick up their tickets. <laughs> they got basketball here. Just like Wildwood, New Jersey boardwalk. All kinds of games. And they got bumper cars back here. Bumper cars. here for the kids. A lot of things here, a lot of things. Like a recording booth. Fate TV recording booth. Guys, look at the stash she won. I know one time she hit for 400, 200, and uh, that's all she did was sit there and play. She got all them tickets. Now we're gonna cash them in and see what we can win. They run the tickets through that machine there and it counts them all out. Now you can get a receipt and keep the receipt, come back later and get more tickets and add everything up. And I think you can keep them up to, I think, three months, something like that, before they expire. But we were already at 290, we're at 300.
500. Seven hundred. <laughs> Gotta keep going and keep going. Nine hundred. on a prize. So next time we come back, we'll bring the ticket that they gave us. It tells us how many how many tickets she actually won today, and then we can use that at a later date. What, Hannah Grace? It's what? That's the ticket they give you. Well, it up to six months. So there it is, six months. So we got what? Six months, Hannah Grace? Six months to use up this ticket along with the other tickets all right so I'm, we're back right now Hannah Grace and I are back at the house um, I want to show you this really quick uh, we're, we are selling so much ice every day we're selling sometimes 20 to 30 blocks of ice at three pesos each that we actually had to come home and fill up our freezer with ice we sell these little blocks here three pesos each and with it getting warm out and everything people are buying it up left and right and the freezer at the store is good but I'm noticing it's taken over 24 hours for it to actually freeze completely through so we're loading up here at the house and transporting it over to the store but yeah I used to sell them like crazy it's a good thing it's uh, easy money I brought over the Nutra Blitz today. Yeah. Um, we picked up these strawberries here up at SNR a couple, I don't know, probably a couple weeks ago. They were in the freezer. Jumbo strawberries. And they are excellent. We bought those before. They're not very, they're reasonably priced too. But we are making a strawberry banana shake. Because I tell you what, it is warm out. So we're gonna we are gonna have a refreshing strawberry banana shake, a little bit of ice. What made me buy something at the store? Alaskan sweetened condensed fil Ow. filled milk. Filled milk. What's filled milk? Filed milk. Filed milk or filled milk? I had to buy that. Forty pesos. I didn't even get a discount. But we are going to enjoy it. All right, pal? Yeah. I like your hammer, Lud. Yeah. It's a knife. And yes, the sharp part is upward so she won't cut herself. <laughs> Don't mess with me. Don't mess with Lud. That's going to fly. Yeah. That's going to go flying. <laughs> yeah, check out these strawberries. Yes. They're very, I mean, they're good strawberries. It's frozen, frozen strawberry. Like I mean, they were in the freezer, so they're thawing out, but they're good strawberries. I know they don't look like strawberries. Mm -hmm that you find in the grocery stores in the United States, but Boy. these are just, these are just, yeah, they are. They're just thawing, that's all. 
So they Strawberry kinda... in the United States is a little, uh, a lot cheaper. Oh yeah, they're a lot cheaper. In season, you can buy one, get one free. Yeah, but you can't find strawberry over there. Right. So. Not good strawberry. Unless you go to Baguio, it's a farm of strawberries. Baguio. Baguio has a strawberry field. Pick your own. Yep. Um, but oh. never mind because you told me we go massage on Monday. Yeah, we'll go for massage on Monday. What's my ano? Cold cup. That's how you empty a can, blow into it. <laughs> now, I need water. You need water? You need to put the water or not? How much water? Just a little bit. Alright, I'll hold that. Somebody asked me. Just a little. Why we had the plastic on the water jug? Yeah. I don't know, we just never take it off. That's all. How much water? Oh, that's enough. That's enough. Mm -mm. Uh oh. What is she selling? Merienda snacks. Oh. Yeah. She's selling snacks. Hindi po nagsishake kasi ako. Why you bring this? Why did you bring what? This. What's wrong with that? You were supposed to bring the black one. That's the only one I could find. Is that on there, right? Are you sure? Yeah. It is on too. Now what if we sold shakes? You think it would go over well? No. It wouldn't? I don't think so either. Oh yeah, you'd lose money because you'd have to charge quite a bit for them because of the strawberry. Now if you went with a banana shake or something that was local, maybe then you could, but... Yeah. It's hard or to else say. you use the powder. There's a powder. Oh yeah. There's a lot of powder flavors here. Final product. Masara. Hi, Blood. Yes. What do you think, H? How is it? Delicious? Masara? Refreshing. Look is counting out her stash, her coins. Running a sorry sorry store, you get a ton of coins. So we've gone up to Jumbo Genra. And you go up there and you give them their your coins, you gotta break it down into what? Uh people. Yeah, but what do you break that down to? What's that, 50 pesos in each one? No, 100. 100 pesos. So you break it down into 100 pesos, take it in, they open it up and count it. Well, they're going to count it so they know they're actually getting 100 pesos. <laughs> but uh, you, go, you go up there and that's where we exchange it. I don't know if you can go to the bank. Yeah, you can do that. You can also go to the bank, but she found to go up there is a lot easier and simpler. Um, well, you go up there and give them your money and uh, exchange it right there. Well, yeah, you will have a drawer full of coins at the end of the day. And she usually waits till she gets a bunch and then heads up to Jumbo Genra and exchanges it. All right, so Lut just counted up empty box of cigarettes that she saw in the past 10 days. She'll keep the boxes, count them up, and then... Um, do her inventory. Now this is just cigarettes in 10 days. How many boxes did you sell? 14? 14. 14 boxes. No, no, no. I thought it was 20-something. 20 yeah, 20-something. 23? 23 boxes of cigarettes. And what is your total, your profit? Your total profit. profit. It's 1,050 
1,053 pesos off of 23 boxes of cigarettes she sold in 10 days. Now that's just cigarettes. You know, cigarettes sell like crazy here. Ice, I don't even know what the profit was on ice. Ice? Ice, yeah. Last time? Last time. We make like 300. 300 just on ice in how many days? Uh, yeah. Well, we've been open, what, three weeks? So about 300 pesos profit on just ice. So yeah, you do sell a lot of things and you move a lot of product, but all of it adds up. 10 day profit, profit on the cigarettes. That's pretty decent. Not bad. That paid the electric bill. Yeah. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna wrap this one up. It's been a good day, another productive day. Uh, Look is actually staying here tonight. Look's gonna sleep here upstairs. Hannah Grace is staying here. Her brother's staying here. Look is gonna stay tonight and be open till what time, Let? 11. 11 o'clock. What time are you opening tomorrow? 5. 5. So I'm on my own tonight at home. I'll be fine. <laughs> All right, guys.